Hello, beautifuls. This is Romy here. That was quite awkward. Uh, welcome back to Seduce Me, the Atomic Game. Today, we're gonna go for Matthew's route. So, hopefully, we can do this on a one time go. Go, go, not go. So, it did it. Okay, cool. We got all the guys. Um, I'm not quite sure how to do, uh. Hmm. Damien, because isn't Damien's a different color? I don't know. I only saw three hearts there, so it's gonna be. I, I won't know how to do Damien's. Uh, they're visitors. I mean, I to totally visitors. Okay, but Are we're doing. Sure? We're going for Matthew, and then the next one will be Sam. Almost forgot his name again. Touch my own face. No! We, we're supposed to let him do it. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> I, I should be ready. Okay, so... So I did it. Green, red, blue... Something. Green is Sam. Blue is Matt. And red is Eric. What was Damien's color? Maybe it's the other choice? I'm not quite sure. Then why did... One yeah, they're, they're visitors. Don't worry. I'll stay around Are the house. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to make a lot. Okay, uh. Not to. I'm gonna touch my own face. Yeah, not to him. We have to let. Not. I guess she, she nodded to let him touch her face. I'm so sorry about your. Uh, thank you for do you have poses. Yes, I do. It will get I would look like I really don't care. Do you think the company? I don't think it even matters. Put your hand in his. We're gonna be nice to. You're welcome. To Praise Andrew, and follow him. Might as well. Doesn't hurt to follow him. Uh, get out of my house. Uh, I can't. Um. <laughs> uh, just picking choices out of willy nilly. We're gonna explore the house. So then this is the part where we can learn a bit about uh a bit about when we call them. Um cold cut sandwiches. Matthew seems to to be like that type of guy. Join the hunt. Oh, this is joining the hunt for that little squirrel <laughs> thing. Matthew is like such a cutie. I just love his eyes. Let them stay. Has anyone ever let them go? I'm pretty sure they'll stay either way, right? Or did that just automatic end? And we're gonna talk back to Di Diana, cause we don't like Diana. She's, she's evil. So evil. Uh, better. I'm feeling better, but I'm not alright. And then we're gonna steal a kiss from him. Because Matthew's like an adorable little boy. Uh, Barjan has set her straight. I decided to be assertive and quickly stepped into the room, rushing to be in front of Matthew. Diana and Matthew looked at me in surprise as I glared daggers at Diana. Get out. Well, well, little human. You're awfully nosy in business that doesn't concern you. It does concern me, actually. Does it? I don't think a human would understand the importance of this affair. Yes, I do. You're asking him to be... You're asking him to leave to be someone he doesn't want to be. That's not going to happen. Oh? And what makes you so sure about that? Because I love him. <laughs> Diana stared in shock at my exclamation. Was it not what she expected? I didn't care what she expected. I wasn't going to lose the man I had grown to love. You love him? Why, of course. Do you need me to repeat that? Yes. I love him. 
Diana's lip twitched, the edges <laughs> curling into an amused smirk as she stared at me. So what? A human's love isn't enough to understand the situation. A demon can never reciprocate human feeling. Then you should not exist <laughs> if a human cannot give to you. To both of our surprise, however, Matthew stepped forward and put an arm around me, pulling me close to his body. I love her. <gasps> so cute. I saw the confidence Diana had shattered in her eyes as she stared at Matthew at his words. I could see the struggle in her face to try and find some weakness in Matthew. In me. Anything. A demon love a human? Impossible. Well, it turned possible now. <laughs> you heard me. I love her, Diana. I'd do anything for her, and she cares for me more than anyone in the Abyssal Plane ever had. More than you'll ever know. She makes me feel like the adult I'm supposed to be, and there's nothing you can do to change that, ever. Ever. Just the way he said it. <laughs> so sassy, Matthew. Diana took a step back, physically feeling the sting of Matthew's word in his chest. Chest. She had lost. I could see it in her eyes. Diana's eyes grew dull as she glared at me and Matthew. It seemed almost uncharacteristic of her, yet it was something I wasn't surprised to see come from her face. Very well. Fine. Bye. Bye. And with that, Diana faded into the ground into a purple pentagram, crossing her arms and almost looking upset. Matthew and I were then left alone, left with the silence of the room. I could hear Matthew's heartbeat. He held me close in his arms and I felt so sa self safe beyond words. Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. I'm holding you. Oh my god. <laughs> I looked up at Matthew, surprised at what he said. Matthew blushed, moving a strand of my hair from my face to look down at me. You mean so much to me. You make me feel like more than just a kid. I've never felt this happy before with anyone, and here you are giving me every reason to love you. I love you so friggin' much. <laughs> that confession so freaking much. Okay. <laughs> I stared wide-eyed, blushing like a maniac. Was this real? No way. This couldn't be real. Was Matthew confessing to me? Confessing his love for me? Matthew, gently caressed my cheek, staring into my eyes with a loving, almost hopeful expression. The warmth of his hands invited me to nuzzle into it, closing my eyes. This wasn't a dream. My heart was pounding hard enough where I was sure Matthew could hear it. Matthew gently leaned in, closing his eyes. He stopped, however, remaining just a mere torturous inch away from my lips. He wanted me to show my feelings for him. He had left himself open for me to kiss him or leave him empty. The power I had was unbelievable. Kiss him. I loved him, and I wanted to give him exactly what he wanted. I gently leaned in, letting my lips finally touch his gingerly. Matthew let out almost a surprise gasp against my lips before wrapping both his arms around my waist, pulling me close to him. I moved my arms up and around his neck, feeling, his ki feeling the kiss between us deep into a heated height. My chest was pounding, making me feel and see fireworks in my mind. Matthew was everything I desired. He was the man I wanted, demon or not. It was so supernatural. It was all so all supernatural to fall in love with someone so quickly. Maybe it was the sense of magic I was thrown into. Maybe it was Cupid playing with my heart. Either way, I found myself melting at the thought of him being with me. I found myself combing my fingers through Matthew's hair, making the man holding me softly tremble at my touch. He gently nibbled on my lower lip, asking me to deepen the kiss between us even further. I easily teased him before finally opening my mouth slightly for him. His tongue gently danced with mine as one of his hands slid up my back and cradled my head. He gently leaned my body back, making me cling to him as the heat of our kiss rose higher and higher. Gently though, Matthew slowed the kiss down and pulled away, staring down at me. His eyes burned for me, wanting me to help to melt and buckle in his arms. I could feel myself melt already. Matthew opened his mouth to speak, but as a very small blush ran along his cheeks, he was reduced to shy silence. I stared as he tried to find the words to say in my eyes. I knew exactly what he wanted. He didn't need energy 
though, right? Are you? No, I just... I stared wide-eyed, feeling a blush on my cheek grow. He didn't say anything more, but I knew that I knew what words would have followed if he continued. He wanted me. I was stunned. Was I that appealing to him? Was his passion really that deep for me? Matthew gently nuzzled my forehead, losing the blush and finally being able to speak. If you don't want to, we don't have to. I mean, it, it, it's up to you. <laughs> it's, it's the last thing he says. It's like, oh, it's, it, it's up to you. I mean, I mean, I wanna. You know I wanna, but... <laughs> I could feel my mind go numb and purr at the idea. A moment with an incubus. He was a... He was the demon of sex, the purest form of lust and desire. My world would rock, and I would enjoy every second of it. At the same time, I was indeed inexperienced. Diana wasn't wrong when she claimed me to be innocent. Did I want to give that innocence to him? Especially this early? I found myself forgetting the words yes and no. What could I say to him? I knew, that I, I knew then what I wanted, but how to say it without breaking the moment? And we're going with Seduce Me. Obviously, title of the game. I couldn't believe the two words that came out of my mouth. It made the most sense to tell him yes. Oh, <laughs> Tyler texted me. I needed him. I wanted him. Those two words must have made something in him finally break. Matthew gently wrapped his arm around me and went back to kissing me. Passionately, I could feel energized. I could feel energy was about me. Make my eye open one eye to see blue light. To see blue light glowing around us. We then, when the light subsided, I was in my bedroom, on my bed with Matthew above me. I stared as Matthew had a look of both lust and love. My heart skipped a beat simply from his gaze on me. This was okay. I wanted to see all of him and give him, give myself to him. I gently guided his head to me, kissing him slowly and bringing him further into the mood. Matthew slid both his hoodie and his shirt and tossed his- Oh gosh. Before curling my head in his hands and kissing me deeply, I felt heat rise in my body, making me undo the tie underneath my collar and release the buttons on my own shirt. Quickly, I removed my shirt and vest, making Matthew stop kissing me and stare in slight surprise, slightly surprised. I was simply in a brawl, but I could feel my s feel a blush invade my cheeks. My shy side began to fester in my mind. Did I really want this? To undress before a demon? No, this was the man I loved, and yet I felt my innocence drape over me in almost shame. I needed to fight it. I quickly rode both of us over to, to where I was sitting on Matthew's lap, staring down at him. Matthew sat up, looking up at me with one of the most sexiest smiles I have, had ever seen. Oh, that is pretty hot, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Matthew pulled me close, knowing I was still shy, and began to kiss my lips over and over. Each kiss was his promise to keep me safe, keep me comfortable, love me. Oh, that is too cute. Isn't Matthew younger than me, though? I kept my arms wrapped around Matthew, taking each kiss he gave and giving him my own kiss in return. I didn't know if, if it was the fact we were both top, top nude or maybe I just craved his touch but I didn't want to let him go his eyes were like so beautiful however as he held me I could slightly feel the shiver of his hands was I his first? he, was, he wasn't going to tell me he wanted me to enjoy this moment but was afraid of screwing up his shivering hands showed me his emotions perfectly as he laid me down and up over Matthew smiled and finally embraced me as we both desired the pleasure between us be would be heavenly and we'd go through it together. I closed my eyes and gave myself to Matthew. My body, my mind, my soul, it all belonged to him as he held me. His body, his mind, his soul, it all belonged to me as I gave into his embrace. His kisses and fingers, his kisses and fingers over my skin would forever engrave themselves into my memory as our passion rose through, the, through incredible heights. Our breaths and moaned to each other, equally sounded and echoed like a blissful chant we never wished to end. We kept moving, loving, feeling every inch of our bodies until we had had enough, and I was enveloped in his embrace. 
Skin to skin, heartbeats matching. We held each other in the glow of the aftermath. I nuzzled my head under Matthew's chin as he held me close. I love you. Um, I love you too. Just to hear those words come from Matthew's mouth made my heart flutter. To hear me answer made my soul warm and glee. I could feel both of us sink into a peaceful sleep together. It was the best sleep I had. Had had in days. And I was happy. I had love and I had my happiness. My life was simply perfect. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring into Matthew's bare chest. I blushed, but I looked up to see Matthew still sleeping. His sleeping face made me giggle softly, but the reality of the situation made my heart flutter. And this is where we can say no, because Matthew's ours. So if you... The rest of the story can almost be passed over. With Diana gone, my life returned to normal with school and my friends, not remembering what had happened. It was as if magic never even appeared in my world. One thing was for certain, however. Matthew loved me and I loved him just as much. We had promised our lives to each other and nothing was going to take that away from us. Not even time itself. Our love was so powerful and practically overwhelming with joy every time. I found him holding me close every morning. Oh. To think, a demon in love with a human like me. It was unthinkable. Unbelievable. It was practically impossible. But it was true. And this is where the other boys be finding their, their thing. One afternoon, a, couple, a good couple of years after the boy and I, boys and I had met, I had a moment to myself. So I watered my house and took in all that had happened as if it was all a dream. The demons that have was the magic. It, w it was all surreal to believe. It almost frightened me to think it could have been all a dream. But the warm feeling in my heart reminded me that it was real. That it was all real. The demons, the magic, the love I had. All real. I smiled as I held my hands to my chest, relishing in the feelings dancing within my soul. I let out a happy sigh before looking up and seeing where I had wandered to. I realized that I was standing in the dining room. I stopped at the smell of baked goods. Taking a gigantic whiff, I let the smell of sugar and sweets fill my senses. Mmm. Matthew must be baking again. I tiptoed over and peeked into the kitchen, wanting to know where, what he was making. Almost done. Oh, he looks so tired. I watched as Matthew started to decorate an already wonderful looking cake with blue and white frosting. It looked delicious. I was practically salivating. Salivating. However, as I watched him, I smiled. He looked so concentrated in his work. It was adorable. And there. Perfect. Matthew stepped back from the cake, allowing me to see his masterpiece. It was indeed, it, it, it indeed was perfect. I wanted a taste, and soon. That looks amazing, Matthew. What? Matthew quickly turned to me in surprise, trying to hide the cake as I laughed. W I, I, I'm, not, I'm not done. I, I mean... Matthew? I walked over and smiled, giving him a kiss before walking around him to the cake. Closer looks, looks all the more scrumptious. What is this for? Uh, well, I mean, it's for something pretty important. I looked to Matthew, raising an eyebrow as he wrapped an arm around my waist. What is it for? Guess. I'll give you three chances. Or what? What if I don't get it right? Then the cake is all mine. Oh, man, dude, that's not fair. Hey, no fair. Instinctively, I wanted to pull away, but Matthew laughed and dabbed some whipped cream over on my nose from a nearby decorating spatula. It's totally fair. Now just guess. Hmm... Is it your birthday? Matthew shook his head. Nope. Second guess. Is it an anniversary? Matthew nodded, but before he could cheer, Matthew rotated his hand, gesturing me to continue. Anniversary of? I puffed my cheeks. I could memorize facts and lessons, but dates were bad. It was like asking a girly girl when her birthday, her boyfriend's frat party was... I'm a girly girl, uh, but I don't remember dates a whole lot. Tyler remembers a whole lot of more dates than I do. <laughs> Matthew laughed before he kissed my cheek, making my puffed cheeks deflate. 
It's the anniversary of when we first met. Oh, we could. She should remember that. I had practically forgotten. He was right. It had been a couple years since I moved in and met Matthew and his brothers. He threw a party last year for it. How could I have forgotten? Time definitely flew. Matthew. Matthew smiled at me, making my heart flutter and squee once again. I want to celebrate it every year in a different way. Next year will be something extraordinary. For now, though, this cake will do. Yeah, especially if it's just us eating it. I quickly pulled Matthew's head down with my hand and kissed him sweetly, wanting to show my appreciation in a kiss. He stared at me as if his greatest wish had come true. I felt back a giggle at the sight. Matthew gently pulled me to him, hugging me to his chest. I nosed into Matthew's chest, hearing his gentle heartbeat and memorizing its tempo. I love you. Oh, um, I love you. Before I could finish, suddenly the cake, which sat silently and peacefully on the counter, exploded into a giant mess. Into a giant mess on it. Matthew luckily was quick enough to pull up, pull us back before we got hit by, got hit with flying cake pieces. What the? It's still a little rodent, isn't it? I looked at the cake to see a very mischievous little creature standing over the cake, triumphant at what it had done. I began to laugh as Matthew grew fa red faced. Simon Tabby! <laughs> I quickly rushed over and grabbed Simon, who made a squeak noise in my hands. I was still giggling as Matthew came over and glared daggers at the white doll covered in cake. To calm Matthew down, however, I stretched up on my toes and kissed him softly on the lips. Matthew stared but kissed back, not wanting to let me go without a kiss of my own. I love you, Matthew. Matthew sighed before smiling at me, finally calm. I love you too. I didn't want to wake up if this was indeed a dream. I felt light as a feather, not wanting to ever let go of this man in my life. There was no words that could describe the emotion within me. I felt joy, happiness, ecstatic, high all at once. Oh shoot, go back. Here I was with the man I would be with forever, with a cake I would be delighted in, even in pieces. I'd gained the heart of a demon, no, of a man I loved. I vowed to cherish and love him for the remainder of my days and beyond. Could a demon love a human forever? I knew Matthew would. And that was my happily ever after. Matthew's cake! And I'm guessing each ending was made by a different person? But that was, that was super cute. That was a super cute ending. I like that. Matthew is the total cutie pie. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed Matthew's route. If any of you were rooting for Matthew's route. I know a couple of people were rooting for Sam's route. Like, yeah. Sam's, Sam's pretty much the, the most wanted happy route right now. So, next episode will be all Sam. And then the very last one will be Damien, cause I, cause I wanted Damien for last, cause I've always felt more like, I don't know, I was more intrigued with Damien, maybe because I like the, the more quiet, shy guy, but in all reality, they're they're like really awesome ass. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys next time.